The mantis blind line is the first asymmetrical structure that shares all of its space in a workable format for the bow hunter. It works fantastic with gun hunters, it works fantastic with crossbow shooters, but it's designed with the bow hunter in mind. The Mantis blind line is so much different than all the other cookie cutter shapes. The Mantis does two things that the five hub blind has never been able to do, and that is set up very easily and weigh a lot less. That's two of the biggest complaints there are on a five hub blind. A five hub blind has a perimeter stitch down there on the bottom, which binds it. It means that every time that you push a hub, you have to push that through center and pull the other ones with it. The Mantis completely removes that because it doesn't have a roof hub. The other thing is, is the weight. When you get rid of two hubs and eight rods, you start cutting weight. I wanted to build something that was light, compact, to carry roomier than a five hub and we did it with this mantis line in order to make the the mantis blinds what they needed to be it was imperative that we use some of the best fabric some of the best raw goods that are out there we chose a 600 denier Oxford weave polyester. What is that? Well, the Oxford weave is the same thing that is on your airbags in your car. The 600 means it's durable, it's like Kevlar. This blind's fabric, this cover, is going to last. We wet print the camo instead of doing a heat transfer and a coating where it's not going to turn red. It's not going to turn pink. It's not going to turn blue. I wanted to build a blind that used some of the new technology, some of the great new fabrics that would function and last for years. And we did it using that 600 denier polyester. The Dragnet window system is a fully functional, adjustable window system that is dead silent. It is the only system known that gives you concealment by being wide open. The corner edges of the dragnet, where it's piled into and you hooked off all of your openings to fit any terrain that you want, you'll see that animal coming through there. You can be at full draw by the time he reaches that window. The dragnet window system is infinitely adjustable. It is complete concealment out of an open, functional window. It is a way of addressing different terrains and different height hunters. Let's talk about the shape of the Mantis blind line. It has a definite slope, okay? It does a few things. One, that actually simplifies brushing the blind in. When an animal is walking alongside or coming at a quartering at or a quartering away an angle, it's not this giant five by five square with a dome roof that's shutting out that light. The Mantis allows twice as much light to come through the woods. All camouflage looks great with the sun pouring on it. However, if the sun isn't hitting it, if the sun is behind the blind and an animal's walking to it, there's this giant area that has shut out light, and that's what a five hub blind does. The Mantis, both the two and the three, are sloped so that water, snow, ice can run right off the back of them. It doesn't have a roof hub, so we have to make it so that this water gets off the blind. And that's why I love the slope of the Mantis blind line. Wicked Intent Camo is a culmination of years of developing camo to fit a ground blind. I'm not interested in that small repeat. I'm interested in breaking up a ground blind. Wicked Intent uses 14 natural earth tones. It's got more angles and verticals than it does horizontals. It lends itself perfectly with contrast to taking a black and white photograph and it disappearing. If you can beat a doe and a fawn out of a ground blind on a same day set, you have developed the ultimate camouflage. If I was to sum up the Mantis blind line from its style, its window system, its functionality, and its carrying weight, I would say nothing compares to it.